Achieve. Recognition in the sciences can take many forms, including publication in peer-reviewed journals and memberships on national and international committees. The Byrd Center has a history rich in achievements, from Admiral Richard E. Byrd and Sir Hubert Wilkins to our present research scientists. The medals and awards shown here are only a small sampling of the numerous honors bestowed upon our Byrd Center members and our favorite polar icons. Admiral Richard E. Byrd was highly decorated for his many polar achievements. Several ticker tape parades were held in his honor, including the one shown here in New York City, 1930, upon the return of his first expedition to Antarctica. Byrd also was awarded numerous medals. At top, a commemorative medal in honor of the first Byrd Antarctic Expedition, 1928 to 1930. Below is the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian award in the United States that can be bestowed by a legislature. It was awarded to Admiral Byrd in honor of the U.S. Antarctic Service Expedition, 1939 to 1941. The insignia of knighthood was presented to Sir George Hubert Wilkins in honor of the first transarctic airplane flight from Point Barrow, Alaska to Spitsbergen in 1928 by King George V of England. The National Medal of Science was established by the 86th Congress in 1959 as a presidential award to be given to individuals deserving of special recognition by reason of their outstanding contributions to knowledge in the physical, biological, mathematical, or engineering sciences. In 1980, Congress expanded this recognition to include the social and behavioral sciences. A committee of 12 scientists and engineers is appointed by the president to evaluate the nominees for the award. Since its establishment, the National Medal of Science has been awarded to 441 distinguished scientists and engineers whose careers spanned decades of research and development. The design of the medal depicts man surrounded by earth, sea, and sky, contemplating and seeking to understand nature. The crystal in his hand symbolizes the universal order and also suggests the basic unit of living things. The formula he is sketching in the sand symbolizes scientific abstraction. This medal was awarded to Bird Center scientist Lonnie Thompson in 2007 by President George Bush. Also in 2007, Thompson was given this Seligman crystal in honor of making an outstanding scientific contribution to glaciology so that the subject is now enriched. Many scientists of the Bird Polar Research Center are members of the International Glaciological Society and the Seligman crystal is their highest honor. Since 1963, the award has been presented to only 30 scientists, including two Bird Center members. In addition to Dr. Thompson's award in 2007, Dr. Richard Alley also received the crystal in 2005. Dr. Thompson was also awarded the Vega Medal in 2002 given by the Swedish Society for Anthropology and Geography. The first award was given in 1881 on the occasion of Adolf Erik Nordenskjold return to Stockholm after his discovery of the Northeast Passage. Since then, the Vega Medal has been awarded to a physical geographer roughly every three years. Other distinguished medal recipients include Ernest Shackleton, Roald Amundsen, and Richard E. Byrd. The U.S. Antarctic Service Medal was established by an act of the 86th Congress in 1960 and provides for the presentation of a medal to persons who have served as members of a United States expedition to Antarctica. Many Bird Center members have received this medal throughout the years, including W. Barry Lyons, Director of the School of Earth Sciences and former Director of the Bird Polar Research Center. The Goldthwaite Polar Medal is the Bird Polar Research Center's most prestigious award. The award was established by Dr. Kenneth Jezik, the fifth director of the center, in honor of the founder, Dr. Richard P. Goldthwaite. Recipients of this award are chosen by the director of the center because of their outstanding contributions to polar research. Each recipient is asked to present the Goldthwaite Polar Lecture, which is on a topic of his or her choosing that relates to their specific research and expertise.